Here we are getting ready to start project at a tulip. I've marked out the area, the template, template scene here. This is the tulip to be installed. It'll sort of match the other one. And we'll see. I'm trying not to get sawdust in the back. And I'm trying not to mess up the front for mica layer. Perhaps this angle will keep the dust coming more out onto the table, I hope. Trying first with a 5 8 inch spade bit. First little cut with spade bit. So far, so good. About a quarter inch deep there. Going slowly. Time to vacuum. About halfway there now. You can see the center. Little stem part of the spade bit is poking through. Starting to hit some plastic in the bottom of that hole, so I'm going to have to finish that hole out with the Dremel tool. Now I'm going to try to put a 5 8 inch hole right between the two holes. Then I won't have so much to Dremel out later. Third hole, starting right there, starting to go through the Formica. Third hole starting to come through now. A little back action. Almost through. There's just a little piece there. So I think I'll dremel that so I can control the falling of the flex. So far, so good. For this cutting, I'm going to try this uh, cylindrical kind of cutting bit with the generic dremel tool made Swiss cheese out of it. The bit I have is just not side cutting, it's just burning, so I drilled a bunch of eighth inch holes, now we'll try to connect the dots. I did go through the plastic in the back, so we'll see how that works. Getting closer now, got the hole a little jagged still. Take out a couple more nails, gradually getting the fit. Here's the finished hole. Not that pretty, but hey, it's going to be covered up. Smells a little smoky in here because that burr really burned. See how bumpy it is on that side. And here is the butterfly. It fits finally flush. And I will nail it in, but first try it. A little bit rotated. My slot a little bit crooked. Yeah, I need to square it off a little bit. The tulip is in place, and let me show you this action here. I'll close up the center tulip. Okay, closing the center tulip. Now we put one in this tulip. If I can get past the nails. Woohoo! Opens that one, and come down in through here, close that one. Woohoo! It works! Damage to the back side was not too bad. There's a little air showing through here but it fell right into that trackway, and we are golden. Here we see the left tulip installed. A little close up there. Looks nice and flush. The little nails are holding it. Now watch this mechanism. Put one in here. And we get that one open. Then if we put one in here, it closes. Yay, it works. On to the right side now. Okay, this is the right side. Nails removed. Template drawn on and ready to start drilling. The problem I'm going to have with this other tulip is that it still comes out on the right side. And there's not a lot of space in the back for that to happen. I may have to modify this and tip it coming out the other way, which will mean cutting a hole on this side. Hmm. What to do? 
looking in from back here, there's no, not going to be any room to the right of the tulip for the ball to come out. So that means that I'm going to have to tip the brass seesaw in the tulip the other way so it'll empty to the left, as well as cutting a hole in the side wall of the tulip mechanism. Hmm. The right one was definitely the harder one. Now on this hole I'm having to stop a lot earlier because I'm already starting to hit the plastic in the back. This should be interesting. I think this uh, second hole will be able to drill a little bit deeper. Next come the eighth inch Swiss cheese holes. A Swiss cheesified. And a little burr action. Almost through. I did unfortunately go through the plastic once, but overall it wasn't too bad. Now I've got the hole, but unfortunately it's not going to just clear on the right. So I'm going to have to redo the tulip to empty left instead of right. First problem is that the ball won't quite clear that trackway, so I have to make a little hole in the plastic. Then I'll have to figure out how to make the ball come out the other side. Here is the ball coming out of the wrong side of the tulip. This is unfortunate. I can't think of a way to get it to go underneath. Okay, this is the now modified tulip so that the marble will come out on the left side as you're facing from the front. I bent that thing open flared that edge corner where it was sticking, changed the angle of this bottom piece, and turned the bias of the brass so that it's to the left instead of the right. It works, at least out of the machine. The question is how I'm going to get it back of the machine with that flap. Woohoo! It is done, and I now have three tulips instead of one. It's a beautiful thing. 